Hi friends, this is Shekhar Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. This is the second part of my Xamarin Forms 4.6 new features video series. If you have missed out the first part, please check out that before viewing this video as I will be using found embedding feature of Xamarin Forms 4.6 in this video too. In this video, we shall understand how to use one of the main feature introduced in Xamarin Forms 4.6 that is expander control. We can observe the end result on the screen. This is what we are going to develop in this video. To get the best result of this session, please make sure that you watch the entire video. If you need, you can watch the video with 1.5 speed also, but watch it completely. Now let us get started. Instead of developing the entire complex design at a time, let us make the thing simple and let us complete one by one so that our final required output we can achieve in 15 minutes. To do that, what we can do is initially we shall have a grid with two rows, one for the header text that is Techno Academy Workshops and the second row for the remaining entire content present within the page and in order to get the nice curved effect on the page i will be using pancake nuget package so let me flip to our visual studio and then let me first add the pancake nuget package so within the search let me type in pancake and let me select the pancake package and click on the add package the same thing we need to do for the Android and iOS project also. So let me right click on the packages and click on manage new get package and let me select the pancake package and you can click on the visit page to check out the details about the usage of pancake plugin and you can observe the details of why pancake view. Let us continue. Let me click on add package to add the pancake package to our application. This application I would like to follow MVVM. So let me create some folders to support that. Now you can observe I have created the model, view, view model and service folders. Now let me right click on the view folder to create the required view. So let me add a content page and provide the name as session view. Now first let me add the reference for the pancake package. So let me type in XML namespace colon ME equal to pan and select the relevant package. Next I would like to make sure that the content of the page is displayed in the safe area of iOS. To do that let me type in XML namespace colon iOS equal to iOS and select the relevant reference and then iOS colon page dot use safe area equal to true. This will restrict the content of the page to be displayed on the safe area of the screen. Next, I don't want it to show the navbar. So let me type in shell dot navbar is visible equal to false. And I like the material look. So let me type in visual equal to material. And then I wanted to provide a background for the page. So let me type in background color equal to hash 4CAF50. This is a light green color which I really like a lot. And then let us make this as a startup content. So let me open the main shell and let me add the reference to the page first. So let me type in XML namespace colon views equal to let me select the views namespace. And then within the shell content, let me comment the previous page and let me type in views colon session view. Now let me execute the page. We can observe the entire content pages displayed in light green color, right? Next, let me open our session view page and let us create the required grid. So let me type in grid, grid dot row definitions. And I said for our requirement, we need two rows, right? So let me type in row definition height equal to 100 for the first row. And then for the second row definition height equal to the remaining available space. Now let me add the label to display the header. So let me type in label text techno academy workshops, horizontal text alignment equal to center, font size equal to 40, font family equal to cabin sketch. The one which I have used in the last video. Let me specify the text color 
equal to white smoke and vertical text alignment equal to center and this has to be displayed at the grid dot row equal to zero let me save the code we can observe the heading has been displayed as per our requirement next for the second row let us add a pancake so let me type in yummy pancake view background color equal to white smoke padding equal to 10 horizontal options equal to fill and expand and uh, grid dot row equal to 1 and let me add a grid within it and let me save the code we can observe the second row is displayed in white smoke as the background but we need the rounded curves right to do that let me add a corner radius 60 comma 0 comma 0 comma 0 let me save the code we can observe there is an awesome curve displayed towards the left side personally i like this design but as per our requirement we need the curve in both sides right so let me update to 60 comma 60 and let me save the code now we can observe the nice rounded curves has been displayed in both sides next let us try to concentrate on the main body part so to design that again let us make it simple we shall have a grid and then we shall divide this entire design into four rows where the second row will have the place where we wanted to show our expander okay let us implement that now so let me first add the padding to the grid as 20 and then we need four rows right so let us define the row definitions accordingly now we can observe there are four rows for our grid next let me add the label to display the welcome text so let me type and label text equal to let me paste some text and then the font size equal to subtitle and grid dot row equal to zero let me save the code we can observe the welcome text has been displayed as of now let us leave the expander requirement instead let me type in a label text equal to expander comes here grid dot row equal to one we can observe the result has been updated next once again i wanted to have a label to display some text so let me type in label text if you are interested in joining this workshops register now and then grid dot row equal to 2 we can observe that content also has been displayed next for the fourth row i would like to have a pancake view so let me type in yummy colon pancake view background color equal to white smoke and then padding equal to 10 horizontal options equal to n corner radius equal to 60 comma 0 comma 60 comma 0 and grid dot row equal to 2 within this pancake let me add a button so let me type in button text equal to register now and width request equal to 200 and image source equal to font image font family equal to font awesome gilf equal to x colon static let us add the helpers reference so let me type in xml namespace colon helpers equal to let me select the helper namespace and then helpers colon icon font dot account circle color equal to white smoke and size equal to 30 once again i repeat i have explained about using font awesome images in the first video please check that to understand how to use font awesome as font family let me save the code who oh, a small mistake the pancake view should be on grid row 3 not 2 let me save the code now we can observe an awesome button is displayed now finally our main requirement that is using the expander control now whenever we use an expander control we will have two parts one is the header and the other one is the content whenever we click on the content of the header the expander will collapse or expand now in order to provide the content for the expander we can use a grid with three column definitions and to get the content we need a model which maintains the details about the start name image url of the speaker 
topic and the speaker name right so let us first create a model and a service class to provide the details about the workshop sessions so let me flip to visual studio and let me create the model class so let me right click on the model folder and create a new class and let me provide the name for the class as session and then let me remove the constructor and let us define the properties we require start time topic speaker name and image url now once the model has been created next let us create some service to provide the session details so let me right click on the service folder and let me create a new class with the name session service now let me first remove the constructor and then let me define a method to return the list of session details so let me type in public list of session get sessions let me first quickly fix the reference issue now let me type in return new list of session and let me paste some session objects to be written we can observe there are three session objects which are returning from this method next let us create a session view model so that we can use this data within our view so let me right click on the view model folder and create a new file with the name session view model and then let us define a property so let me type in public list of session sessions let us resolve the namespace reference issues and let me add a constructor and within the constructor let me type in sessions equal to new session service dot get sessions once we have completed our model service and the view model now the final step is to bind the view model to the view and create our expander as per the requirement so let me open the session view first let us add the reference of the view model so let me type in xml namespace colon vm equal to select the view model namespace and then content to page dot binding context as view model colon session view model now let me navigate to the place where we need to add the expander and first let me remove that label and in order to use the expander let me type in expander grid dot row equal to one and we know that expander will have a header so let me type in expander dot header and within that let us have a grid so let me type in grid background color equal to purple and within that let me type in label text view schedules text color equal to white smoke and font size equal to subtitle so when i click on the header we wanted to display some content so anything we write within the expander will be considered as a content but to make it clear let me type in expander dot content and within that let me define a list view has uneven rows equal to true item source equal to binding sessions separator visibility equal to none background color equal to white smoke and uh, list view dot item template data template view cell view cell dot view we have completed our required boilerplate code now we know that in order to create the template we have to have a grid with three columns right so let me type in grid background color equal to white smoke padding equal to 0 comma 10 comma 0 comma 0 i just wanted to provide some padding towards upwards or top and then let me define the column definitions so let me type in grid dot column definitions column definition width equal to 100 column definition width equal to 10 and finally for the last column column definition width equal to remaining entire space now for the first column let me define a stack layout orientation equal to horizontal grid dot column equal to zero and i would like to display an image so let me type in image source equal to font image Font family equal to font awesome, gilf equal to x colon static, helpers colon icon font dot calendar, color equal to purple and size equal to 30. Along with that, I would like to display the start time. So let me type in label text equal to binding start time, horizontal text alignment equal to center, vertical text alignment equal to center. 
for the second column i wanted to draw a vertical line so let us use the box view width request equal to 10 background color equal to purple grid dot column equal to 1 and finally for the third column let me have one more stack layout grid dot column equal to 2 orientation equal to horizontal and then i wanted to display the image source equal to binding image url width request equal to 75 height request equal to 75 and then let me define one more stack layout if you want you can use any other layout also for the design to make it simple i am using stack layout for this demo now let me define the labels to display the data of the topic and also i would like to display the data of the speaker name now let me execute the page to check out the result we can observe an error the reason for that is expander is still in experimental stage so we need to set the relevant flag so let me open the app.xaml.cs file and let me type in device dot set flags of new list of string expander underscore experimental once again let me execute the code and this time we can observe the result let me click on the view schedules we can observe the content is being expanding and collapsing but to make it complete let us use some image to point the expand and collapse state so within the expander header let me add an image source equal to font image font family equal to font awesome gilf equal to x colon static helpers colon icon font dot arrow down color equal to white smoke size equal to 30 let me set the horizontal options equal to n let me save the code we can observe the arrow has been displayed but i feel that if there is a change in the arrow when it is expanding and collapsing it looks more attractive right so for that let us take the support of triggers so let me type in image dot triggers and let me use the data trigger trigger type equal to image binding equal to binding source relative source and we need to specify the ancestor type equal to x colon type expander path equal to is expanded value equal to true then we need to use setter property equal to source value equal to font image font family equal to font awesome gilf equal to x colon static helpers colon icon font dot arrow up color equal to white smoke and finally size equal to 30 once again let me execute the code we can observe the change in the arrow whenever the content is expanding and collapsing finally before i conclude this video if you want you can also change the animations while performing the expanding and collapsing to do that let me type in expand animation easing equal to x colon static easing dot bounce in expand animation length equal to 500 millisecond and collapse animation easing equal to x colon static easing dot bounce out and collapse animation length equal to 500 milliseconds we can expect the bounce effect so let me save the code we can observe a crazy bounce effect right but i personally like the cubic in and cubic out effects so let me change the effects back to the cubic in and cubic out let me save the code and execute we can observe once again a nice animation is performed while expanding and collapsing hope you have understood how to use the expander control in xamarin forms 4.6 in the next video i will explain the new features introduced with respect to, to shell in xamarin forms 4.6 and before i conclude this video friends if you like this video and you think that my channel really deserves more subscribers then make sure that you subscribe my channel and click on the like button and share my video who knows this video might help out someone who might have this requirement right happy programming yours shaker